What up guys? Good morning or afternoon or evening, whatever time of day you may be watching this. I, as you can see, am not blonde anymore. I took my boho locks out yesterday. It was pretty easy. They all came out in under an hour. So the technique that I use to install them definitely works. I didn't really have any issues taking them down. So that's a relief. Sometimes you never really know when you're trying a new technique but I'm happy about that and then I actually left my flat twist in overnight because I just didn't want to be bothered and I slapped my pre poo oil on top of that and I just took those down and that took way longer than actually taking the locks out just because I'm trying to be very careful when I handle my real hair as always and yeah I haven't washed it yet it's still dirty as hell but I feel like my fro looks kind of cute oddly enough I am impulsively going to do a rinse today I don't know why, I'm just in the mood to kind of do something different to my hair, just give my hair color a little bit more vibrancy, a little bit more dimension, but I don't dye my hair. That used to be my vice. I've never had a perm in my life, but when I got to college, I started dyeing my hair a bunch, bleaching it, everything. So that was my vice and that really jacked my hair up and I have not dyed my hair since actually deciding to take care of it properly, which has been since, I don't know, I wanna say like 2010. So I'm gonna pop over to a beauty supply store that carries the Sebastian cellophanes. That's the only type of rinse I've used before and I don't remember having any negative experiences with it. So I'm gonna pop over there. In the past, I've only used the clear one, which is just basically to give your hair a little bit more bling but today I'm gonna get one that actually gives it a little bit of color because I don't know I just want something that's sort of like commitment free but will give me a little bit of a switch up I haven't yet decided what my next style is going to be once I actually finish washing and conditioning my hair but I want to have the cellophane on hand because I can't remember if you're supposed to do it after shampooing and before conditioning or what or if you do it after conditioning so yeah, let's pop on over there. This is a completely impulsive thing. I had not thought about even putting a rinse in my hair until this very morning when I started taking my braids down. And I hadn't even planned to record at all today. Uh, I was just gonna kind of focus on doing my hair, but I wanna see, uh... I want to see if I can detect a real difference here. So you guys are seeing me in daylight right now. I'm just in my apartment in my bedroom near the window. So this is what my hair is looking like right now. Actually, let me move to the bathroom. I think I might get some better light in there. So hopefully you might be able to get a sense of what my hair color is looking like. Here on the top where the sun is hitting at the strongest, you can see I have sort of like a mousy brown situation. I've got basically like somewhere between color number two and color number four hair if you were buying weave. Hopefully you guys are getting a decent sense of what the before is looking like. And uh, yeah, let's head on down to the beauty supply store and pick up the rinse. Alright you guys, I'm just outside the beauty supply, but I figured since I'm actually outside now, this would probably make more sense to show you guys what my hair color is looking like in daylight. Hopefully, you can see it a bit better now. Alright, let's go in. Okay, guys. Success. In fact, I got the very last one of the color I wanted because I had gone on the Sebastian website before I came over here just to see what colors they had and they had only one left of the one that I had been eyeing which is the Caramel Brown. Since I was just belting it out to Beyonce in the car before going in there, it seems like Caramel Brown is appropriate. Random fun fact, Alyssa, Ashley, and her sister Arnell are also in the same beauty supply store right now shopping. They were like in a deep consultation with one of the SAs, so I didn't want to interrupt, but eventually I was just like, I just want to say hey, follow you guys on Instagram and keep up the great work. Uh, yeah, they're super cute, but they were busy and I did not want to like whip out the vlogging camera like some kind of fucking weirdo even though I was still kind of a weirdo by bothering them at all, but whatever. Gotta shout out your fellow YouTubers. I would definitely want, if someone recognized me, which happens more and more these days, which weirds me out since I'm a nobody, but I definitely love to hear from people who are my subscribers or whatever when I see you guys in real life, so. Let me not get claimed. Not by you, Genuine. Not today, Satan. Uh, 
But anyway, I am gonna head back home and wash my hair. It says to shampoo, then do the cellophane and protect your hairline and stuff. Rinse it out, shampoo, and then condition again. Well, shampoo again and then condition, I should say. So that's what we're gonna do. I need to clarify anyway, because I've had those locks in my hair for you know over a month. So clarification was already on deck. So we're gonna do a clarifying shampoo, then we're gonna do this cellophane, and then we're gonna do probably like a moisturizing shampoo or just a co-wash kind of situation. Slight change of plans. I actually was just driving home and I realized I'm not entirely certain I have any plastic gloves to apply this to my hair. So I'm gonna whip over to the 99 cents though, right? quick and give me some gloves, girl. I'm no expert, but something tells me you shouldn't buy your pregnancy tests at the dollar store. Okay, mission cellophane was successful and I've also got my gloves from the 99 cent store. I'm actually gonna check under my sink to see if I have an open pack that I forgot about, but I just wasn't sure, so I didn't wanna risk it. So now I'm gonna section my hair so I can get in the shower and clarify. And uh, I will see you guys again when it has uh, towel dried a bit because you're supposed to let your hair, let me see here, shampoo hair and comb through hair. Won't be doing that. Towel dry to 75%. Part hair in sections. Apply a stain guard to hairline and partings. Apply cellophanes liberally starting from 1 8th of an inch from scalp to ends. Wrap hair in a plastic cap and place under heat for 15 to 20 minutes. Allow hair to cool for five minutes before rinsing well with lukewarm water, followed by shampoo and conditioner. Suitable for use directly after any color service, relaxer, and in between color services as a refresher. By the way, if anyone is curious about this product, you should know it does contain silicones if that is of concern to you. So I'm gonna get cracking on shampooing and I will see you guys when I'm actually gonna put this shit in my hair. Okay, quite some time has passed. My hair, I think, is probably maybe not 75% dry like the thing says because it is in these Bantu knots, so it's not like that much air can kind of flow through there, but I think it's dry enough for me to move on and get this rinse in my hair. Now, I don't have any sort of proper product to create a barrier on my hairline like it instructs. I know a lot of people just use Vaseline, but I don't even think I have any Vaseline. So I'm just gonna use some hair pomade and just kind of put a thicker layer around my hairline and on my ears and also just be as careful as I can when I'm actually applying this stuff to my head. So here we go. Cellophane is in my hair, way messier than I was prepared for. I think because I haven't, A, I haven't done a cellophane on my hair in over five years, well over, probably closer to six or seven years, let alone any type of hair dye period. I haven't done a hair dye probably since maybe shortly after I got out of college. So it's been a long time since I've done anything with color except for henna and stuff like that. So I wasn't thinking about the fact that this isn't going to be clear, like the clear cellophane, and it's definitely been a bit of a hassle to clean up, but we're pretty much there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a conditioning cap on and sit under my dryer for 20 to 30 minutes, and then let my hair cool down, and then rinse this bitch out. I have rinsed out the rinse, and it is time for some much needed deep conditioning, because not only did I clarify my hair, then put on another product with the cellophane and this isn't exactly the most nourishing thing. I will say my hair didn't really feel significantly drier when I rinsed it out than it did compared to when it was just double clarified because I did two lathers with a clarifying shampoo. So my hair was already stripped, which was my intention. I know that's kind of a taboo thing, but um, Realistically, there are certain situations where I am trying to strip my hair. In any event, um, I will mention as well, this is a 10 ounce container. This is one of the more expensive rinses out there, but it's also the only one I've ever tried, so I'm kind of afraid to venture out. If you guys have any recommendations for cellophanes or rinses that you like, that are actually good but more affordable, let me know in the comments. But this is just the only one I've used and I'm kind of afraid to try anything else because I know this one doesn't mess my hair up. This is my first time using a colored one though. This is a 10 ounce bottle and I've used almost all of it if I can guess, I'd say there's maybe this much left where my index finger is. So not enough for another use, which is truly unfortunate. 
before I put this conditioner in my hair, I guess I'll show you guys how it's looking, but you probably won't be able to see any difference because it, again, it is just a cellophane. And at this point I'm indoors and there really isn't any sunlight left, but I will try to get you guys some footage of how my hair is looking in natural daylight uh, tomorrow or a couple days after once I've actually let my hair completely dry and I can be out in the sun. Yeah, I mean, it just looks completely normal even to my naked eye. So we'll see if this actually did anything in a couple days. Whilst I was applying my deep conditioner to my second section, I realized that I had fucked up. I completely forgot that I was supposed to shampoo my hair again after rinsing out the cellophane. Do you know why I realized that I had forgotten to do that? Because the deep conditioner, which is an off-white color, started turning lavender as I was applying it to my hair and I realized, whoops, this probably isn't supposed to be happening. But I was already two sections in and I was not about to get back in the shower. Not to mention, I think I must have just like men in black myself and completely eliminated any memory that I was supposed to wash my hair again because my hair was feeling so parched and in need of conditioning. So that was probably why I had such urgency with skipping that step and not even though I didn't mean to. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but here's some of the conditioner. I just wiped it all on my counter so I'd be able to show you guys. You can see how it's sort of a lavender color. Yeah, the conditioner itself is off-white, so I don't know what that means. Let's hope my hair doesn't fucking fall out while this is sitting on here. Anyway, I'm going to deep condition as normal, sit under my dryer for a little while, rinse, carry on with the rest of my wash day routine and stretching my hair, and I will come back to you guys probably tomorrow or in a couple days after my hair is fully dry, and I can show you in the sunlight to see if this cellophane actually did anything. Assuming, of course, that my hair doesn't completely fall out of my head because I forgot to shampoo out the cellophane. Hey guys, it's actually a week since you last saw me. You can see Ray Ray coming into the bathroom because she nosy. Anyway, it's been a week since I put the rinse in my hair, the Sebastian cellophane, and I was hoping to give you guys a look to see if there's been any change. I feel like I can see a subtle change. I feel like it's given my hair kind of a different tone to what it normally has, but it's not very noticeable. It certainly isn't anything where I think anyone else would necessarily notice. I was uh, skulking around the outside of my apartment trying to catch some daylight, but it's actually a very overcast day, so it's even harder to try to show you guys the result. But now I'm in my bathroom near the window, so I don't know, you, brought, you, got, you probably can't see any difference. I took out some braids on this side of my head, the ones on this side are obviously still in. But um, I don't know, I don't know if I would bother with this particular tone again. I feel like if I had done maybe a black rinse, it might be more noticeable. But I feel like the change here is subtle, I like it, but for the price of the Sebastian cellophanes, Probably not worth it for most people. As far as how my hair has felt since, it's been completely normal. It didn't feel any more dry once I actually put moisturizer in my hair and put in some oil to seal it. And I haven't felt the need to moisturize my hair really more frequently than normal as the week has gone on. In terms of, you know, the risk of damaging your hair, very low with pretty much any rinse. I'll probably use whatever's left in here and just add it to like a deep conditioner mix one week just to use it up. And I think if I did do a rinse again, A, I would pick a less expensive brand because even though I've used this one in the past and liked it, I just feel like it's too expensive for what it does. Or B, if I did use this one again, I would pick a color that gives me a more dramatic result than this one because I feel like this one just sort of maybe gave me a slight boost to the caramelly, not quite number two tones that I have in my hair, especially in the Front, but for the most part it looks damn near the same as always so probably not worth the price anyway that's gonna do it for this video I hope this was informative uh, for someone out there and you know it's obviously a more casual vlog style hey I'm doing this impulsive thing to my hair right now so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and thanks for hanging out with me I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye that's, that's a nappy headed hose there I'm gonna take that down. <laughs>